Mo here. Want to do an overview, walk around, an operational video on our Hot Jet 2 diesel with the Kubota uh, power plant. So this is for operation. I know the other videos I get all excited about the features and benefits. And I also get really excited that there's, there's new ways to clean drains. I still see the competitors building the same things, same units they've had since the 80s. So uh, yeah, this is new technology and new technology helps you make a, uh, earnings for the future. It's like running your business without a cell phone or computer as far as I'm concerned. Just the uh, fabulous stories we hear on these units. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do the overview on the safety checkout as well. Of course, have your guys sign off the safety sheets. It covers gloves, eye protection, all the PPEs that you need to operate. And uh, it's got a safety guideline on for how to hook it up and how to start, which we'll cover in this video. Uh, first and foremost, make sure your trailer's all tight. Check the lug nuts. When this locks down, this locks down on the hitch, the ball hitch. It's a two and five sixteenths, it's the big ball. Don't hook it to a small ball, it'll fall off. Uh, always cross your chains, you know, that's kind of in the safety. Make sure your, your bolts are tight, things come loose. You know, make sure things are tight, make sure your jack's up before you head out. Uh, inside this box here, uh, we keep the safety manuals. And that's, that's the review and have your guys sign off before you operate, okay? Uh, units have a spare up underneath. They have a battery. The trailer has a battery uh, charge system that needs to uh, keep charged to activate the brakes. If the uh, uh, safety brake, if the trailer breaks free, this needs to be hooked up to lock up the brakes. And uh, so we'll kind of take it front to back. You've got a thermostat here. We, we don't recommend over 120 degree, okay, on the operation on, on it. Safety guidelines, of course, are on the machine itself. Now, this is the Kubota diesel unit. It has uh, the 29 horsepower, 28 horsepower, depending on how the emissions ratings go on it. Uh, three cylinder diesel put the big radiator on it, of course radiator fluid. Uh, before you start, always check the oil level in the engine. The pump has a sight glass and uh, a dipstick on there to, to check the pump oil. Pump oil is 30 weight non-detergent. Engine's uh, Kubota oil, okay? Get that from your Kubota dealer. Be cheaper than us. Uh, we use a uh, deep cycle. Best battery you can get, I think it's uh, uh, 24, right? 24, group 24. Brain's working today, even before coffee. Okay, pulsator valve, on position, off position. The filter's feeding the pump. Now this is dual, dual fed on this pump, so we're getting really super performance. Uh, I like to check the belt tension up here, inside, before uh, operation. Ah, uh, boy, feel good. I just kind of like doing a walk around before we start. These filters have got to be tight. Or, or this will want to suck air. Let's go over the valving real quick. Uh, this will tell you which way's off. The little arrows on. Which way the flow is. So that's out of the tank. You can kind of go in and look at that. So if you need to antifreeze, you want to turn it to antifreeze. Make sure it's in. So that's going to draw out of the antifreeze tank. And then to recapture antifreeze, we're going to go over that in the video. So that'll flood the whole system with antifreeze. You can also blow it out right here with an air chuck. It's really important to antifreeze. This unit has the heater on it, of course. It's the hot jet uh, diesel unit. So it does have the heater. Uh, it's got the toolboxes, small jump jumper hose, foot pedal to activate it. All your safety and operation guidelines are on the back back wall there. It's just kind of a checklist here of the uh, parts and that. So you've got some safety gear. We, we send glasses and gloves out. You've got your remote control. Well that's in there pretty good. Uh, unit. You've got uh, the stinger. This is to keep the pipe from coming back at you. 
so uh, the pipe, the nozzle to keep from coming back at you in the line. If you're if you're doing bigger lines, you'd want a longer uh, nipple to put in there. Uh, inside this box also has a desooter additive for the uh, heater system, which you add to the diesel one cap full per fill up. This is the fuel filter nozzle. I'll show it on the other side. Uh, this package uh, comes with the Warthog. We're going to show how that works. And the extra sets of nozzles. I'll set those out. Uh, it's also got some power wash supplies. So people ask, what's the gun? This is a power wash nozzle. This is the bomb, literally. Uh, you got O-ring picks that come with it. O-rings are always in and out. These are handy, especially after lunch. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll kind of keep walking around. Back here, you've got a plug-in for your uh, phone charger right there. You can charge off that. Uh, it's got LD LED lighting and safety lighting. We've had that hooked into the uh, switch for the motor when it's on and off. Some guys, that drives them crazy. Some guys love them. Um, so far, so good. It's kept people from running into it. You've got your variable speed for how fast the hose goes in or out. Uh, I like it mid-zone, then you can adjust from there. Uh, great hose reel. It couples in depending on what direction you're uh, going to be jetting. We're going to be going out to the back, so I'm going to lock it in in this direction. I love this. This is super, super duty. Um, you can see that solid piece of steel. That's held up super well. Uh, you've got your throttle right here. Up, up and down on this unit as far as throttle. You can, you can go in, you can come out really fast if you push that in, okay? If you want to go up or down really, really fast. Another downhole lighting. You can adjust these lights as well. Easy start valve. We, we, we call it that. We really love that. Really extends the life of the pumps. You're not starting it up under pressure. Uh, something we developed in the industry. Uh, you can control the on off of the hose reel right here. That's your on off for the hose reel, main hose reel, jetter hose reel. This is your on off for the power wash reel or the wash down reel, or this reel will hook to the jumper for the foot pedal. We'll, we'll go over that um, here. So that's the startup position right there. Off, off, on. And then when you're ready to jet, simply go here, throttle it up, get your line, your hose in the line, and turn on your valve for that, for the jet line, and throttle up, okay? I'm gonna put it back in the start position. It's also how we ship it. Now, back here you've got a hose fill for the tank. That's the water fill for the tank. And right here, just couple that. That's your uh, fire hydrant fill or if you're filling off of a water truck. And uh, tensioners right here on these. You've got a little latch on the side here. Let's show that right there, that little pin. So if you want to, if you're going down the road, you'll want to pin that in. Now if you pull it out too far, that pin will come right out and then you've got to have strong nails or Use one of those O-ring picks to to uh, uh, get it out and put that back in. So the transport for this is right here. So there in your transport position. Uh, your drains right here, fast drain, like our drains. Control boxes here. You can either run it remote, which would be the auto, or you can go ahead and start it with the uh, green button. So if we're we're not using the remote right now, which we will in the video, um, if I just hit the green button, it's about a four second delay while the computer goes through it and fires it up, make sure it's in the proper starting position. Uh, five second delay. So the key has to be on. Keel shut it off. Or you can just hit the off button there. For the heater, on and off right here. Again, we, we like the heat set at 120, right in there. Uh, the hose protector, that's to, that's to protect your hose. We'll show you how that works in, in a little bit. 
And then we're going to also show you how the uh, sump pump pump out reverse jet unit. We introduced that to the to the industry, and we love it. Um, you got your power wash gun, gun hold, uh, cone holders. I get ahead of myself. Now soap. I like to talk about soap a little bit. So it's been proven. John Hopkins University's proven it. To break the film on the pipe, you have to have hot water and soap. That's what we've got. If you break the film on the pipe, you got a better clean. Just period. Then you don't have to clean the transport lines nearly as often. Okay. So a lot of guys will use the soap. When you open up that soap valve, it goes through the, the heating coil and then through the hose. So you've got 600 feet of coil roughly, 300 feet of hose at 700 feet. So by the time it comes on, you might be done with the job. So I've got a lot of guys that'll add one quart to 330 gallons inside this water tank. Okay, so you can just go ahead and add a quart of it. Now think about soap. How do you wash your hands? You got to have a little bit of soap. Gives it a little bit of detergency, controls the odors, and lubricates that line. Just, just does. Just proven. Uh, we wouldn't have any oil without it. That's what they use to drill the drilling holes. So, you know, helps lubricate, obviously. Okay, the little burner units back here. I say little. Your 500,000 BTU. There's that filter right here. Diesel gets dirty. So I always like to keep running fresh uh, diesel. Fuel pump, igniter, uh, motor right there. Uh, on and off solenoid. Uh, got a great big fuel tank. Love that. Get fuel on cell. The other thing I love is your single source fuel, diesel. Don't put gas in this, please. All right, uh, getting your thermostats up front. Hour meter. Uh, air filter, uh, engine, uh, fuel filter right there, and uh, this guy's pretty well ready to go. We'll we'll kind of next video we'll we'll actually we'll go through and operate it. So I just want to do that walkthrough of when you get it. And uh, other than that, make sure you tighten all your nuts and bolts. There's a zillion of them. You know, always check for that. Always check check your trailer and uh, for integrity and make sure the lug nuts are on tight. Keep your lug nuts tight. Thank you.